finally got that working. Snooze the ads. Yes, let's put that to snooze. I don't know why they want to play the ads so soon, but welcome back, everybody. We're getting back into Dino Crisis. Also, I, if my memory served me correctly, today is Valentine's Day. So, happy Valentine's Day, and I think that's why I decided to name this one Lonely Hearts Club. Mainly because it's a Beatles reference, but I couldn't think of any sort of dino-related title for the stream. But yes, let's go ahead and finally make some progress. At least my head isn't hurting from last time. I was so tired, la like, the day before. Hopefully everyone's having a good day today. Give me proper health items. I don't need items that upgrade health items. I don't know how close I am I to the end already. Hey, this looks like the area in Resident Evil 2 where Ada dies. Located the main generator of the third energy system. Great. See if you can activate it. I hope this isn't Chris's blood. What is this? Wait, what is that? What does that do? Oh, okay. Nice. Fancy. That is very fancy. And... What? What is this? Will you press the button? Yes. Nothing happened. Certain preparations have to be made before switch pushing the switch. What about this? Nothing? Okay. The panel that activates the third energy generator... What do I have to do? Okay, wait. No, okay, so this is this is where I need to be, but at the same time, there's something else that I need to make sure of. There's something in the process that I'm not doing. Please, no raptors. You can't open the elevator with the card you have now. What about over here, then? Power frequency yeah. room. Yeah. Is that a map? Yes, of course I'll take it. Is that... Who's this? She is unconscious. She is dying. Can I take her fingerprints? No? Okay. <laughs> it would have been messed up if I could. Like, thank you for your fingerprints. Later. Research memo. Alright, Kirk has been hiding everything from the researchers recently. In a demonstration of solidarity, the B-1 lab area staff have decided to investigate what Kirk and the military personnel are up to. As a start, we managed to set a wire tapping device at the part storage area where they've been holding meetings. The device is sound activated and records automatically and it can also play back the recordings. It may be the best way to come up with some clues we need I Kirk's ID card to check the generator. We we already know this registration number is it is 31415. All we need now is to forge his ID card. Is this is this fingerprint data? Uh sure, sure, I'll take that. Recovery aid. That's to mix. 
damn it! But I do need the resuscitation though. I'll take that. Wait. Nope. No? I don't have enough for this, do I? Oh, I do! Nice! Nice! I like that. Wow, I went from having nothing to... Having actual ammo and health. Well, yeah. Intensifier. I forget what intensifier does. Sure. Oh. Mm. Ah, damn it. Nope. Hmm. So maybe one in the middle and then this one at the uh, uh. there we go managed to figure that one out cool 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 Yeah. Damn, who would have thought that I could find so much? The door is locked from the other side. Alright, so I guess I'm done with this room. Now, so I can't help her at all? I guess not. Yeah. Alright, got two plugs. There's a book here that I saw. A sub panel for the terminal that controls the generator. How to activate and control the generator. Prepare. Oh. Oh, hello. I. It's okay if I call you Glacier. Hello. Yes, the game is quite a classic. I, this is my first time actually playing the game because back in the day when uh, we we rented this a long time ago and I didn't get to play it because at the same time I was kind of like scared of it. I was a little kid, of course, but I remember watching my older brother play the game. I don't think we ever completed it. I, the last thing I remember was when the T-Rex's the head like crashes through the window and that's <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. And that was about it, but I always wanted to play it after a couple of years of playing the Resident Evil series. Prepare to activate the generator by operating the main panel of the upper floor of the control room. Move to the 
V3 area of the generator to set an analyzer. Initializer, not analyzer. Operate the panel near the initializer to connect the inhale shaft to the generator. Move to the B2 area to set a stabilizer. Activate the generator. I don't know if I'm going to remember that. Go back to the control room and adjust the output on the lower floor. When activating the generator, make sure the doctor is present to avoid accidents. The generator cannot be activated without Dr. Kirk's ID card. All right. Uh huh. Starting all systems. Oh, wait, am I doing that already? Okay. Okay, I guess I had to do that. I don't know if that gunshot was coming in from this room. It is. Whoa, what? Well, she did now. One, two, eighty one. You got the researcher memo. 1281. Or 1281. But yes, but have you played the game before? You always had to. The right mood for. <laughs> Not too scared. <laughs> oh, man. Believe me, man, I remember those days of being scared shitless from, like, characters like uh, Mr. X from Resident Evil 2. Holy crap. <laughs> I remember having to run, like, during the day, walking, running through the hallway because of how dark it is, just to go and flip the light switch on, <laughs> thinking that he's going to burst in through the wall. Oh, my God. Those days, man. Those days were something else. Oh, this is the exit. Those were the days. Wait, I, I guess I never got down here. Or I never went down there. How's the volume of the game? Should the game be just a little bit louder? I can never tell for sure. Uh, wait, what? What about this? No response. Okay. What is this? Researcher's journal. Will you read the file? Yes, I will. Since I was assigned to this department, all I've done is sample the simulation data of the generator. Even a college student could handle these tasks. Why doesn't Kirk want us to operate the generator? Doesn't he trust our ability and skill? Written by O. To O. I don't think the problem is so simple. Because his IT card is required to operate the generator, once an accident occurs, Kirk is the only person who can stop it. I don't see what the military is planning to do with this conniving, nonsensical procedure. I have an idea. It's about that guy, Tom, who was recently assigned to the B1 area. He often comes to me to ask about our job. I guess he can't resist my charming personality. Why don't we invite him into our group and have him spy on Dr. Kirk? This should work as he is good at gaining the confidence of other people. Don't be so simple-minded. Have you already forgotten how you've been trying to get Kirk's attention until recently? Learn to think a bit more logically first. At any rate, the male researchers here don't seem to know much of anything beyond research. Maybe you ought to try showing the next one you become close friends with the wonders of shampoo and washing machine. What an... Wow, what a sick burn. 
He just called that guy a Smash Bros player. Nice. Operating from here. Oh, okay, so maybe that's it. I feel like there's going to be a jump scare soon. Already checked over here. I think there's a door that I did not go through. Oh, no, that's the exit. So I guess we're done with this area then. Twelve forty. What was it? Twelve forty-eight. Where am I? Error. Preparation procedure incomplete. Okay, but where do I take this card? Nothing happened. All right. Was there another route that I did not take? Maybe there is. Oh. Ah, it's an elevator. I didn't know. Oh, it's good, because I have the B3 card, I think. All right. Hmm. Nope. Okay. So we got to check those two for when we start making things go into motion. Once we set things in motion. Error. Preparation procedure incomplete. All right. But what's the, what's the beginning of the procedure, my friend? That's what I need to know. Like, it's easy to give me all the science mumbo-jumbo, but I need, like, a more simplified instruction. Alright, so that's not the beginning portion of it. Wait, but I need fingerprints, though. Let's double check with this thing again. No? No, that's not it. Because I need Dr. Kirk's fingerprints. But also, like, I think I registered my card under his name already. Oh, there we go. That's new. Colonel, I'm making my way into the basement. Well done, Snake. Yes, he is. Oh, oh, okay, we're back here. All right. That still that still doesn't solve our problem though. Or maybe I have to go talk to what's his face?
I forgot what the guy's name is. Although he's dead, he's still holding onto a transmitter in his hand. That's not Dr. Kirk, I don't think. I can't pull up the instructions on how to activate it. I'll keep searching. You just do whatever you can from there. Well, thank you for the non-answer. I don't even remember being in here. Ah, might as well save. I got a lot further this time around than than before. That's right. That's our main objective. We need to clear this thing out out of the way. Ah, well, either way, that's fine. I wish they didn't force us to save like this. I think it would have been better off if there was like a save point console somewhere. If I'm doing that because I constantly get trapped in the save. want a mini heart attack right now. Wait, what? Why is there a handprint right there? Oh, okay, good. We accidentally ended up in the right direction. That, that that must be Dr. Kirk. Doctor? Where are you? Don't move. And what do you think you're doing? Carving a name for myself in history with the ultimate energy source. Open your eyes, you freak. Your precious creation is nothing more than another weapon to be misused. <laughs> you seem to have a small degree of superficial intelligence. It's too bad that it is wasted on one who is about to die. Oh! Nice. Rick, our target has been secured. Report here immediately. I don't know why, but I thought that that guy was going to Elbert Wesker us. your lecture, Doc. You were saying... Yes, I was saying. I discovered how the third energy could affect space if it ran unchecked three years ago. I thought that the energy had the ability to transfer selective space to an alternate time-space continuum. But I was incorrect. The space was not transferred, it was exchanged. To put it in terms that even you can understand, Third energy has the ability to replace a pocket in space with one from a different time. What? Yes. I came to these conclusions following this evening's final experiment. You've seen the effects yourself. 
Those beasts were occupying the space this facility is located on almost 65 million years ago. Oh! Right. So that's how those dinosaurs appeared in our time. I thought they were going to be clones. Exactly. And that is what I have done. Uh-huh. And how many people were sacrificed before you made this discovery? <laughs> Who cares? The numbers are quite irrelevant. Let's just say that there were many. Extraordinary deaths for ordinary men, don't you think? Spoken like a true devil. A god or a devil? Hmm. I don't care about that. Only my experiment. Enough. Only one thing matters at this point. Your grand invention is blocking our escape. Yeah. You need to destroy the vortex. <laughs> the only way to do that is to allow the generator's third energy levels to overload. Theoretically speaking, the third energy and the vortex will cancel each other out if they come in contact with one another. But there is one small catch. What is if it? If you cannot stop the generator's third energy overload, this entire region may be shifted to another point in the space-time continuum. Oh. Then we'll just make sure to be somewhere else when the shift happens. No problem. But we couldn't even activate the device. <laughs> You're missing the initializer and stabilizer, right? Where are they? Calm better down. answer. They should be stored in one of the security level A rooms on floor B3. Very good, Doc. <laughs> now you understand our situation. We live, you live. Also, I'm gonna need your fingerprints. Yes, I can now have access to the that one door that has the A, the letter A on it. Okay, I'm all set to whip up a program that will send a stream of third energy into the vortex. I'll keep an eye on the doctor. Regina, you go find those devices and overload the third energy. Remember, they're in a security level A room on floor B3. Hold up. That whole floor is crawling with dinosaurs, including that T-Rex. Let's get this situation under control before charging off. Smart. Here, take this. The disk contains the draft plans for the initializer and stabilizer. I stumbled over them while searching through the database. Fortunately, the room where the parts are stored is not far from here. We should gather up the parts and assemble the devices. Don't be ridiculous. Regina doesn't have the technical knowledge for that. We don't even know if all the right parts are there. We'd be better off simply trying to hunt down the completed devices. It's too dangerous down there. She won't make it. It's your call then, Regina. Uh, You're the one who has to do this. So what's your choice? Um. Or head for the part storage on B2. Uh. Let's go to... Level A. Hopefully, I, I don't re regret this. Okay, let's do it. Whatever you do, don't drop your guard for a second. I try my best not to, but sometimes I end up getting ragdolled like crazy. What is that? Is that a box? No. Uh, nothing else in this room, really, so... Wait, there's a book. Preparing the stabilizer and the initializer make sure these two devices are ready in time for the experiment. Each of these two devices consists of the following three parts. Core parts, uh, pr protect part A, protect part B. This means six parts are needed in all. These parts are separately stored in the experiment room the design room and the part storage room once you are have acquired all six parts you can assemble them in the experiment room the weightless manipulator must be operated by staff of level a class all right that was all gibberish to me uh yeah so it looks like there's nothing else here Oh yeah, can I have your fingerprints? Maybe I just go like this? 
No? I guess I have to talk to him. Did you find those devices yet? <laughs> no, but I need your fingerprints. Ah. Thank you for the med pack, though. I very much appreciate that. Let's give it an upgrade. No? There we go. I think that's all of them, right? How many of... That's two... All right. Oh, okay. I, I I can still mix like one more. I think. Intensifier. There we go. Oh man, we're way better suited for things now. What are you still doing here? Go get those devices. All right. Chill. All right, third energy as the final weapon by Edward Kirk. Uh, if the third energy reaction exceeds the critical point, it evokes the overload phenomenon. When this happens, we can't control it. The huge amount of energy creates chain reactions and begins to disintegrate the surrounding air. The ensuing explosion will vaporize anything in the near vicinity. If we could control the area where the overload occurs, the third energy will literally become the ultimate weapon. The power of the weapon depends on how much energy we can restrain before the explosion occurs. In order, work, in other words, the capability of the stabilizer is the key to everything. The third energy was supposed to be the project of the development policy. Create the basic power source for the permanently stationed weapon. If we change the policy of the project here and now this government will be able to obtain the most deadly destructive device in the world. However, our current budget is completely out of the question. You'll find my estimate of the budget in the next chapter. Please review and consider. Okay. So this is not the exit I was thinking it was. Hopefully I remember where that room is. Wait. Oh, there's two doors. Uh, where does this take us? Oh, okay. Uh, not that way. I think we first came in here through this door. Yep. Oh, shit! Stay dead! Stay dead! No! Ah, oh, damn it! Ah, oh, crap. Oh, really? Damn it. It doesn't look like it's dead. It probably isn't. Next time, just run. Preparing the stabilizer and the initializer, make sure these two devices are ready in time for the experiments. Each of these two devices consists of the following three parts. Part, protect part A, part, uh, and protect part B. This means six parts are needed. These parts are separated, stored in the experiments room, the design room, and the parts storage room. Once you have acquired all six parts, you can assemble them in the experiments room. The weightless manipulator must be operated by a staff of class A 
class or level A. Is this something? No. High security safe. Something is stored inside. Yeah, but how do I gain access to it? Functioning. Damn it. Oh, okay. Maybe this way. Oh, what is this? That's oh, a gun part. So, what? Do I just mix it? Nope. Oh, okay, I kind of forgot how to do that. There we go. But let, let's not waste this. I only have three, sh three shots of those. Uh, heal. Wait. Resuscitation is, uh, extra life. Am I still bleeding? I hope I'm not. Ah, oh, it doesn't look like I'm bleeding. Good. Oh, okay, so I need to be in uh, facility B3. Right now, I'm in, I'm in uh, B2. All right. Leave me alone! No! Okay, good. Where's the elevator? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. I'm pretty sure it's taking me the right way. The way? No, that probably isn't. No, it's not. I went the wrong way. Go, 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 go! So I came from the left, so I need to go this way. Ah, oh, wait, wait. Ah, oh, don't tell me you're blocking my path. No, good. I I hope it's this door. Oh yeah, did I ever open these? Oh, now I can. 
Yes. Oh, really? There we go. Oh my goodness. I thought I wasn't going to have any more <laughs> possible ammo. Yeah. Thank you, game. Thank you for supplying me some more items. So turn left and then head straight. Oh, yeah, the ladder. No, I'm talking about this. Run, I think, and then head this way. Ah! Looks like there's another memo. Third energy basic concept, the technology to extract energy from the ions in the atmosphere. This is the heart of third energy. If you control the flow of ions by ionizing the constitution of the air, then you can extract the re resultant electron movement as energy. The basic concept is simple. The electrons from which energy of movement was extracted combines with ions to once again form the original constitution however due to the current level of technology it is impossible to return it to 100 percent of the original constitution the or constant yeah constitution uh the waste constitution yields a peroxide that is similar to ozone as a byproduct however it is not at at a high level enough to threaten the concept of the proposed energy Clean energy source. Blah. No? Okay, good. There's nothing to interact. Nope. Am I supposed to go through the door? Hmm. Biological weapons. Interesting. Small creatures that were used for the biological weapon experiments are stored here. So I guess we just mess with this device. Oh, okay, it's an elevator or a lift. I thought I was going to turn something on. It's a freezer. Initializer. All right. And stabilizer. Cool, cool, cool. I guess that's all we needed. go I'm happy that the, those two were together uh, by any chance did, did the map update no it did not maybe there's a cutscene that's supposed to happen wait what all right No! Uh. Need to activate the generator first. Oh, okay. Get out of my way! Damn it! Oh, no. 
no, no, no. I only have one resuscitation. I can't open this, can I? Or or did I already open it? Nope. <laughs> Go, go, go. There's no problem here, though. Roll back the clock to the dawn of time and sing this song with me. Oh, roll back the clock. Does anybody even remember that movie? We're back, a dinosaur story. I think it was an early 90s movie or it was a late 80s movie. No! Ah! Oh. My last resuscitation. Oh, why, why be so ruthless like that? Go, go, go. Go, go, go. No. Wait, am I going the right way? Oh, uh, no. I think I'm going the wrong way. Or, no. Looks like I was gaslighting myself. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> gave me so many directions and I'm kind of like mixed up in my brain. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm supposed to probably go back in this direction. Don't touch me! I'm supposed to be here. No, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, the information from the center terminal is shown here. A planning disk is required to operate the this terminal. Where the hell is the operate uh, the planning disk? No. Planning disk. Where is that going to be? trying to think right now. Or maybe I do have it. Nope. I never got around to using these numbers. I don't know what they're used for.
Yeah, none of these are... Are any of those. Maybe I need to go talk to What's-His-Face. Please tell me that he gives me the uh, a disc. has got to be a reference to Total Recall. Get out of my way. Oh, 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 damn it. I might have forgotten where to go. Program's almost ready. I'm counting on you. What? What else do I need to do then? I get it. Where the where the destination's flashing, that's the exit. But I need to do other things first before we can even bother to attempt to escape. Just to see if we can. I got the stabilizer. I got the. Whatever the other thing was. Yeah, see, I'm not supposed to be right here. Damn it. Uh. Yeah, also, I don't want to waste my health items. Go! Uh. Not where I needed to go. I need to consult Google. <laughs> All right. So, I will all pick up. Oh, I think. All right. So, we need to head back to where the doctor was. Where is that exactly? I don't remember. Oh, oh God! No! Uh. Stop following me, you stalker! So apparently something was supposed to fall out of the wall or something. Hmm. I don't believe what the what the thing was telling me. Hey. 
What are you still doing here? I need help. Go get those devices. Did you find those devices yet? <laughs> what a prick. Why is there a gap here? Hmm. Well, that's useless. Where... What room am I supposed to be in? Let's double check here. Uh, cat... Oh, right, right, right. Leave the room by turning left. Exiting through... Back in the lab is another file that may be worth a read. Okay. The cabinet to the left of the doorway can be pushed aside to reveal a plug and a blue light. Cabinet. What are you talking about? Hmm. What do you mean? Is it in this room? Did I even go through this door? No, that's where I first ran in. I think. I wish they would have labeled this correctly. Like, what room is it? Continue into the parched storage. Yes, but I want to know where that is. And go through the door next to the one it, in the passage to another raptor. Get rid of it. Continue to part storage and enter the first door marked with an A. Hmm. Let's see. I don't know if I went through here. No, I have. Give me one second, someone's trying to call me. Okay, well, well, at least it was important information I needed to hear. Yeah, it's something to do with the doctor's office. No! <laughs> Damn it. Why? Why? Okay, so I'm ne so I need to find the storage room wherever that is. Stop. No. Ah.
I bet you I'm, I like I must have missed out on a lot of like good parts in order to make my gun strong enough to take down at least one of these raptors. All right, let's uh let's consult with Google. I need to know where the hell is the part storage. Dino prices. Because I swear, the map from time to time is very difficult to read. Okay. So, it would seem it's actually in this direction. No, thank you, sir. No, thank you. I'm not going to even waste my grenade rounds on you. So, this is the storage room. But sadly, nothing here is helping me. High security is safe. Something is stored inside. Yes, but how do I get inside of it is my question. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what do I need though? What is it that I need? A, follow the corridor to pick up the GT part, which I did. The cabinet to the left of the doorway can be pushed. Oh! Oh! That's what they meant. I'm talking about this thing. I'm so dumb. I am so dumb. Oh, look at that. I got a plug. Functions perfectly under nominal conditions, but it's still a problem under certain conditions. Look, with the generous budget, personnel, and facilities at your disposal, shouldn't you be able to solve that problem? I don't know. Once complete control can be established, we will literally have the power of a god at our disposal. Mohaha. Easily. Uh, the combination of the beeping sound at the end of the conversation is... Let's just make sure I memorize the beeping. think is how it went but what else can I do now what's the next step after that and you hear a conversation at the end which you which you'll need to remember once you once the yellow file on the council in the middle of the room a memo detailing and next to this and use oh my yeah, I never got the planning disc. Where's the planning disc? Oh, wait, but I never picked Rick's uh, strategy, right? I picked the other guy's strategy. Or do I now have to go to Rick? Damn it. Did I screw myself? No, there has to be a way to get the playing disc. Hmm. I pick. Did I pick Gail's strategy? Or maybe, maybe I skipped a step. 
for something. I really don't know for sure. Well, let's go see what's his face again. Planning disc. Jeez. Out of my way, sir. No! Ah, oh, damn it. Yes, I need to take. I need to use it. Dun dun. Oh, okay. I was expecting the music to get scary again. The program's almost ready. Damn it, counting on you. Okay, uh, Gale strategy. Under the red rest station. The map passage to the carryout room and then uh, DC pass the T-Rex into the control room B go through the door go forward and remove the stabilizer which I did make your way to the security pass room all right where's the security pass room Security pass room is there. No. Passageway to the port. Oh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Damn it. So, in actuality, I should have picked the other... The other strategy.
Why game? Where am I? Oh, I'm back here. Do I have the things I picked up? No, I have to go get the stabilizer and the other thing again. Uh, where is it again? Now I'm trying to remember the, the path to take. Uh, yes, it is this way. But also, maybe I, maybe there's something here that I left. Okay, that was useless information. Did I get my resuscitation back or no? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Yes, I did. Have I been over here? No, this is new. Nice. Ooh. Good thing I decided to check over here. Smart. Ah, damn it. Not entirely smart, but still. Nothing else here. Okay, we got the initializer and stabilizer. But the only thing I'm missing now is like a disc of some kind. Ow, ow, oh, oh, what the heck was that? Ow! That hurt. My freaking thumb just started to hurt off, like out of nowhere. It was probably some sort of cramp or something like that. Yes, I read all this already. Wait. Okay. Dude. 
Do do do. Let's go. Let's go. Hopefully, I can find something to help me. There's probably like a box I forgot to open or something. It's funny because sometimes I feel overwhelmed by the instructions that the game gives me. And I feel like I'm too dumb to figure out. <laughs> Music scares me more than anything. Also, what's with the code that that corpse gave me? <laughs> no! Yeah, what's up with this? keep running back and forth. Hmm. But yeah, why give me a code for something? I don't see like a box anywhere. And I still need what's his face his fingerprints as well. Just keep running. Ah, what? Charged so harshly. Wait, how many plugs is that? That's two. Okay, so that's what okay so once i have this i need to go back to the security pass room and then initialize and use dr kirk's registration but i don't have his fingerprints though yeah but yeah but how do i know for a fact that it'll work now 
because I don't remember ever getting his fingerprints at all. Or is it that he's cooperating with us now that I ha now so-called have him? Hmm. Damn it. That's the thing. That's the thing. I don't. I just don't know. Give this a try. Let's see if the game will actually let me do this. All right, registration number. Luckily, I writ I writ tit I put it down. 31415 <laughs> Or maybe I'm using the wrong card? why I keep like getting bumped out of the menu. <sighs> okay. How do I get Dr. Kirk's fingerprints? That is one thing that the thing never told me. You didn't get the fingerprints from the console before, you get them from Dr. Kirk now. Back in the lab is another file. Wait, hold on. First of all, feel free to look around his room. Inside the library, you'll find a med pack and a yell file if you... from the console. Oh! There it is. God, it took us this long to... Well, it took me this long. To realize that I could have gotten his fingerprints from his personal library of some kind. Uh, did I come from this direction? Yes, huh? God, I was like, what is it that's block that is blocking our path here? I couldn't figure it out for the life of me but now we now we have a better idea stay down please stay down So, console. It must be this one. Yeah, what are you 
talking about. Hmm. Nope, maybe this one? Look around in Dr. Kerr's library. Inside the library, you will find a med kit. And if you didn't take the fingerprints from the console before, you can now get them from Dr. Kirk now. What the hell? Did you find those devices yet? No, but I need your fingerprints. <laughs> Oh, no. Please tell me I'm not the only one who had a hard time with this. Paste. Uh... Yeah, because I'm not understanding anything. Goes to the computer console next to the dead researcher. Activate it by choosing the red card in your inventory. Wait. Okay, so it's where the dead researcher was. Oh. Okay. Bit convoluted, but okay. so it's not here at all. We gotta find that where that dead scientist is. But does that mean I now have the fingerprints, or do I still have to run back in there? No, it looks like I have to run back in there still. Yeah. Oh, 
All right. So hopefully now we can actually get access. Um, I think it's this way. Please let this work. Yes, I will. Thank you. Okay, now we have that. What is the next step? God, so much, so much. Yeah, I already did that. Oh. Okay, so I kind of did things out of order. But... Yeah, we modified it. Now you need to make your way back to third energy area B2. people can control this character with the analog stick. I'd rather use the D-pad. Yeah. Eh, might as well. Yeah. Damn it! And again. Area B2 is where I need to go. But where am I right now? Yeah. <laughs> 
damn it. That still doesn't tell me where I am. I need a like an image of the room that I need to be at. Yeah, I think I know where that is. Third energy controller, yes. A B2 or something. Also, can I move this? I can. Nice. Increase the power of a particular item. Uh, wait, no, it's mix. So what does it allow me to mix with? Nothing. So that's just gonna take up space in my inventory now. Thank you. So now I make my way back. No? Ah. Did I miss a step here? Go back until you reach the bridge. Console is... Oh! You didn't open the bridge before, do it now by standing blah 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 over the bridge. Uh 
Oh, so I'm not even supposed to be right here. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I'm working at a 10 capacity with my brain cell. Uh, where is that little thing I have? There we go. Come on, brain power work. I'm supposed to be over here. Thank <laughs> you. 
totally my fault that I failed to make sure that I, I had both the stabilizer and the initializer. Too little, too late, but still. Uh, oh yeah, can I open these? I did open that one earlier. I really need the intensifier since it doesn't seem to work with anything. Resuscitation, we need that.
the, I thought I grabbed the stabilizer. I thought I did, but maybe I need to press like the no button. Ah, oh, damn it! the equivalent of like you leave the house and by the time that you're like an hour away uh, you realize that you forgot to bring a jacket with you <laughs> yep it's it's right there i thought i took it with me so dumb Now 
have to head down below.
to me. Attention all employees. Attention all employees. A facility will explode in a couple of minutes. Make sure all employees seek to the nearest exit. Be sure to give our company five stars. No! Oh, that was a close one. Tell me that it shows you where he is on the map. Oh, 
Oh, great. It teleported me to the immigration office. Well, that's lucky. Sure. 
on how to use it as a weapon. Once we deliver this disc to our government, our real mission will be complete. Just shut everything down? <laughs> Just as I suspected. <laughs> what do you mean our so real cartoony, mission? this guy. to take back Dr. Kirk. That was the official lie they fed you. Your boss only wanted the data from the Betty. What are you talking about? Don't you get it, girl? It's so obvious. The government doesn't want me. They want the third energy. They want this weapon all to themselves. Then this whole mission was a front from the very beginning. Our government knew that Kirk's project had to be some type of weapon. I mean, just think about it. A staged accidental death. Political asylum. A secret non-weapon project at a hidden military base. And you know how this country has always been famous for developing new weapons in secret. Yep, he's right. Our government knew that there was a new weapon. And they wanted it. Our real mission was to ascertain all information on the weapon. So that only our country can exploit it. Dr. Kirk's just a bonus. <laughs> I can't believe it. That's why you naively that... called me a devil before. But if you think about it, you know who the true devil is. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. What you tell us? I can only Probably. guess that the two of you were too clean to be trusted by the top brass. <laughs> and what about you? Hey, welcome. I didn't want to put either of you in danger. What you didn't know couldn't hurt you. This has all been quite enlightening, but can we go now? <laughs> You're right. Let's go, Gail. How's your day going? Hopefully your day is going good. Oh, he died? And this is the reward for a lifetime of service to the government. Sad, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go. Like, so you want to throw hands? We'll throw hands right now. Uh, let's see. The disc contains information about using the third energy as a weapon. Ah, oh, mine's been going all okay. Where's Gail? He did. Look how sad he is. Oh wait, did we just finish the game? Or... Huh? Okay, I guess we just walked through the door. This whole time I was expecting it to go down like Resident Evil, where the loudspeaker just ends up going like... Self-destruct sequence has been activated. All employees must head to the nearest exit. Hmm. But yeah, I, I guess I guess I'm just supposed to. No, 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 no. Yeah, we're supposed to head this way. Let me stop the ad. There's no reason for ads to be playing. Eh, might as well. <sighs> Go through the door, lady. There you go. 
Oh, what is that? Really? Okay, what's in my inventory that I can get rid of? If I can get rid of it. Mix. With. Damn it. Oh, there we go. Alright, so what is this? Will you take the multiplier? What does the multiplier do? Mixing this with another medicine will allow you to multiply that item. Oh! How come I didn't get that at all throughout the entire game? That could have helped. Best to use it now. Oh! The dead T-Rex. Alright, but how do I... get across? Oh, maybe I have to use the crane again? Hmm. But, yes. But to answer your question before... I've been doing okay. Been trying to get better. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What's over here? What's over here? No? Okay. Oh, it's still live! Sounds to me that that thing's gonna pop in like, like the tyrant. Did we make it out? No. No, we didn't. slightly oh okay I have too much stuff in my inventory all right let's free up some space uh, let's get rid of the bullets so let's take one resuscitation and let's put away the slug bullets Take it? Oh, yeah, I did. There we go. Hmm. And let's put the multiplier in here. What else is this thing? Oh, okay, it's just more bullets. Alright, I'm ready, locked and loaded, but what do I do? Oh, okay. That makes sense. Let's do it! 
Nice. Good thing that fight was very short. Ah, damn it. I spoke too soon. Nice. That's one for the history books. I had a feeling that I was getting that I was going to complete the game today. It took us what three streams, which the first one was quite beefy. It was. Quite beefy. First time I ever completed the game too. Amazing. Waited so long to to actually get around to playing this game. It was a lot different than I expected. I thought it was gonna be. I thought it would play out more like Resident Evil, but there were so many other things about it that was so different that like it took me a bit to try to like understand, but also get you to get accustomed to how the game wanted me to play. The story was interesting because for, for a second I thought that the whole story was that these were clones of, of dinosaurs, basically like Jurassic Park, but no, it ended up being about time distortion and that they opened a portal kind of like, uh, what was that movie? Um, the, the Mist? opening like a time warp and like transporting dinosaurs to now but then again like i don't think the dinosaurs would survive because the atmosphere is so different so they would all would have suffocated <laughs> but that but that that that's adding logic to a story like this though but the game did keep me on my toes with the dinosaurs getting through the doors like, like they, like basically, almost every dinosaur was a pursuer, like Nemesis or Mr. X. It's kind of sad that this series did not get much love across uh, Capcom's library of games. And what I mean by what I'm. What I mean by that is that most people just overlooked this one because it's not looked back fondly like how Resident Evil is. Like Resident Evil is definitely like the star of Capcom along with like Street Fighter and Devil May Cry. But... You have mail. Ooh, what? The final report of Operation Dr. Curse. Oh, my rank and stuff like that? Regina. Yeah, it's probably gonna tell me like I got like a C Dr. Kirk. or an F. <laughs> Status. Recapture. We have recaptured Dr. Kirk, 
who is currently negotiating future experiments with the military high command. Game. Status. Uh, you're right. It did get at least two Due sequels. Due to uncontrollable circumstances, Gale had to sacrifice himself in order to protect the target. Rift. Status. Alarm. In which I never knew Rift that the third one was a thing. The data that was recovered from Ibis Island. Regina. Status. Alarm. As for myself, I'm ready to begin my next assignment. Tom. Status. He did. Deceased. Tom was attacked and killed by a giant reptile that was inhabiting the island. He will be missed. Cooper. Rip. Status. Unknown. We lost contact with Cooper at the beginning of the mission and have not heard from him since then. Disc. Status. Secret Recover. disc. The military R&D department is currently analyzing its contents. Mission complete. Me too. Like, I'm in the same boat as you. A lot of people did not know that there was a third one. And it was only on, what, the original Xbox, I think? And, and I don't remember ever, ever uh, seeing any sort of adver advertisement for it during that time. Like, I used to... Operation. I used to subscribe to like the Xbox magazine back in the day and I had not once saw an issue that mentioned that game. No article, nothing. But in my Google search, I think it takes place in space or something. You've obtained a new costume. Nice. Use this save data in your next mission. Man, I miss that. I miss when you could like unlock costumes. Those were the days. Only played the first and find it a bit that it went from PS... Yeah. Yes, same thing with me. Like, the only thing I was aware of was 1 and 2. And... Was surprised to find out that there was a third one on the original Xbox. Let me go ahead and, like, move away from this right now. Let me see. Where can I go? Just mute... The game. All right, and let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. There we go. Another game completed. Oh, wait, where did I go? There we go. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Lately, I've been, I've been on a kick on. What I mean by that is not the website kick, but the expression that lately I've been doing nothing but PlayStation 1 games. Like, what is it that we completed recently? We finished Clock Tower 1 that never came out in the States or ever left Japan, called The First Fear. And then we completed Clock Tower 1 <laughs> that came out in the States, which is Secret League Part 2. And... We still need to work on Clock Tower 2. The, what was it called? The, the Clock Tower 2, the like Evil Within or something like that. I think was the title. Let me double check on that before I even ass assume that I'm right. I'd rather be corrected than anything else. Clock Tower 2, The Struggle Within. That's what it's called. The Struggle Within, which is secretly part 3. And then part three that's on the PlayStation 2 is actually part four. That is so confusing. But at least we're getting through the, that series. And it seems like they've improved the the um, the game mechanics or the gameplay a lot better over the years. Because the first one was a little bit wonky. But 
it was super cryptic. Part two w was very cryptic as well. And like, I don't know. I, I, I would say the place that we were at the castle was very like, oh, you, you could get lost very easily. But at least the, the next one that we're doing, it's because I had to make sure that the game was working perfectly fine. It seems that the gameplay is a little bit more, I don't know, I, I would say more smoother. Uh, and then, yes, so that is on the schedule. Uh, I, I'm thinking about bringing back the schedule that I used to make a couple of months ago. Uh, the only reason why I didn't do that was because I felt like I wasn't really going anywhere here on Twitch, meaning that um wasn't attracting much of anybody over here uh thank you the the one true jones 3193 thank you for being here i very much appreciate it uh, i don't really get much traffic over here sadly but i appreciate it, it means a lot and uh now that dino crisis is completed Oh, yeah, that's very true, too. But, like, both, all, all, all the Clock Tower games that I played, even though they were kind of wonky, they all, like, controlled really well. Like, the only reason why I played the first Sphere on the PlayStation 1 instead of the Super Famicom version was because the cursor control was a lot difficult with the D-pad. And I found out that I could actually use the analog stick on the PlayStation 1 in order to control the cursor. So I opted out. So I opted for the PlayStation version because of that, because it's more smoother. It, it, it acted more like a mouse than anything. So I was like, I'm going to go with that. And, but it's awesome to witness the evolution of a series like that, where the bare bones first one, where it's like, I can kind of see where they want to go with that. And then them building upon it, trying to improve, whether it's the story that needed improvement or the game mechanics needed improvement. Sadly, the Clock Tower series stopped around the PlayStation 2 era, which kind of sucks. But we'll see. We'll see, like, why. Like, maybe, maybe they ended the story in such a way where it's like, we can't progress at all. But that's all speculation at this point since i'm not even since i never really played the clock tower series my only experience with the game was just seeing the cover at the store back when the playstation 2 was the current gen yeah like i would always see that cover of that like the girl's face just looking at you and i was like what is that game it was that, and what is it? Metal Gear Solid 3 uh, Snake Eater was one of the main covers that I, I, I would always, like, it would always catch my eye. Like, oh, what's that game about? And, hmm. But yes, I need to start making the schedule again, just so that uh, everything's a little bit more uh, organized. And, hmm. Now that I've acquired some some form of currency from Twitch, for the very first time, I actually got like 50 bucks. So I was like, oh shoot, that's pretty cool. Most of it came from my freaking family members, but, but hey, support is support, right? So with that, I acquired the uh, Game Pass so that we have more game options to work with. And I found out that uh, Game Pass has Pal World. So I'll probably... Uh, take a little gander on that to see what kind of game that is. Like, is it fun? Because I kept hearing about it so much where it's like, oh, it's like Pokemon, but with guns. But to me, from what I see, it looks more like Ark. You know? It looks more like Ark, where you start off just with nothing and you gotta build up your technology and your base so I have some experience with Ark, not so much on on other things. Just as long as it's, it, it's not like a first-person shooter like Call of Duty or um, what other... Like, is there any other first-person shooters out there anymore? 
Yeah. All there is is oh yeah, battle. Was it battlegrounds or battlefront? No, battlefront's a Star Wars game. No, no, battlefront is a war game, isn't it? Yeah, it is a multiplayer game. Yeah, there is one called battle battleground or battlefront. I don't know. My brain is melting right now. <laughs> but yes. We, I'm hoping that, uh, well, I'm going to have to end the stream. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. You know, it's like, I've, I've seen the comparison, of course. I've seen the comparison. And it's interesting to see that the Pokemon Company slash Nintendo hasn't done anything about it yet. Or maybe for them, they, they just don't care. Where it's like, ah, we don't want to we'll waste our resources on this and just let it be. Or that maybe that other company danced or, around so many things to where they're kind of like, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. They can't get us for anything. <laughs> you can copy my homework, but just don't make it obvious. <laughs> The homework. Oh. At least they didn't put the Nintendo's name on it. Or Game Freak. And. Hmm. 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 Let me think. I'm trying to see. Oh, yeah. Uh, are anybody that I know online right now? Let's double check on that. Nope. Nope. I guess, I guess it's bro, bro, too bro, early. Bro, bro. In the day. Theonitru Jones 3193 is now a Pompadachi. Oh, thank you for that. I very much appreciate it. And I can't believe the thing did not show up on the screen. Why is that? Ah, uh, well, thank, well, thank you for the follow. I very much appreciate it. And that just tells me that I have more things to fix still. Let me double check here. Where, where is my alerts? Copy. Move over to here. Oh my goodness. Just when I thought that I fixed everything. Hmm. Let me do, let me move things around. Can I reactivate that? Probably not. No. We're just got to accept that for now. But yeah, thank you. Thank you. I very much appreciate it. And hopefully uh, I can bring you s some form of entertainment. And let's just hope that uh, more more interesting games come our way. <laughs> uh, but oh, yeah, I, I should just let you know that well, what are the typical games I tend to play? I tend to play like retro games like PlayStation 1 games, uh, PS2, GameCube, uh, and any sort of like if there was a game that i missed out on that i wanted to play uh i tend to go back and actually uh try to acquire those for the stream i also play survival horror games as well which is dino crisis i've i've done the silent hill series i've done resident evil i've done tormented souls there's still other games that i want to play of course in the survival horror series like song of horrors and the newer silent hill games that will be coming out soon like uh silent hill forte that's the most that's the one that i'm mostly excited for even though we haven't seen any sort of gameplay footage of any kind the only thing that we saw was just the animated trailer that they had, that they had for uh what was it e3 or game awards or no, it was for su Summer Game Fest when they announced the whole like, what was it like five different Silent Hill projects? Hopefully, we we eventually see a trailer of some kind with gameplay footage. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I, I I did Silent Hill Short Message, which which was pretty scary, uh, and it felt like it was going back to the basics of Silent Hill, even though the story was a bit wonky and had a lot of flaws. It was okay for for something that that was free to play and as i mentioned before we, uh we'll probably dive into power world uh to see how how things are in that game i hope it's fun 
worst thing that that could possibly happen for a game is it boring or confusing which oh my goodness i think the one game that confused me the most was mass effect i've never played it on stream but at least at the time when i played it a long time ago i was very confused and overwhelmed to where my brain kind of like melted it had so much going for itself <laughs> so but maybe at some point i'll i'll go back and play it and try to actually experience the story of mass effect and yeah i do i don't know if i'm gonna stream again today it all depends on how i'm feeling uh but let's take this victory as a victory with dino crisis and hopefully tomorrow oh yeah my normal streaming hours is going to be around two o'clock uh pacific pacific time uh which right now it is 4 4 59 so no yeah because lately i've been streaming late at night uh mainly because i have some people who some friends who live in malaysia and i was trying to accommodate for those people but um it kind of hurt me in the long run streaming wise so we're gonna get back to two o'clock at least for for some of them it's gonna be like in the morning so uh that's the plan so two o'clock in the afternoon so adjust your time for that and i hope to see you guys next time and as i mentioned before i very much appreciate it for your support it always means a lot to me and I'll catch you guys next time. Good day. Have, have a good of the rest of your day. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh, my God. Well, like I said, I, I hope I'm not, like, uh, stealing rest from you or, or anything like that. Wow, okay. <laughs> wow, 1 a.m. Yeah, because like I said, I I have streamed in the middle of the night as well. All right. Well, that's good to hear. You know? But thank you. Thank you again, Jones. I very much appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye. Good night.